Law enforcement admit it's a lot of lake to cover. They tell me that 90% of the charter and rental boats that they stop do not have that permit. The community law enforcement people do a great job. There's only so much they can do when they have, you know, it's like putting a state troop on I-77 and say you got from Statesville to Charlotte. Have a good one. It's not about killing the buzz of being on Lake Norman, rather drastically reducing the dangers and reckless drivers. Uninformed, unsafe charters and rentals are having an effect. Over the past couple of weeks, regulation signs like this have been placed at boat access points across the lake. Warning, charter and rental boats being used must have permits through the Lake Norman Marine Commission. Our goal is to have people on a boat, whether they're paying for it, for service or renting a boat themselves to have a boat that is safe, a captain that is safe and vetted. Rental boats must have a safety inspection and insurance and charter boats must have both and a hired captain with a valid U.S. Coast Guard license. Those in compliance will get this sticker. Why? Well, during the pandemic, the late saw a massive uptick of boat owners renting their boats or chartering people across the lake. The problem with uninsured or untrained drivers has gotten out of control from there. And what we found is more than half of those fatalities were involved in a rental mess. There's been a big problem with enforcement, though. Lake Patrol officers tell me they've seen charter boat owners try to get around the cost. They apply for a rental boat permit because it's cheaper and doesn't require the captain to have a Coast Guard license. Still running the risk of a $500 fine, jail time, or both. The Lake Norman Marine Commission has a list of those rental and charter companies that have that permit. You can find a link to that on our website, qcnews.com. The permit is required throughout the entire lake. Along Lake Norman, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.